All right, I got the sign back from powder coating. I have the back piece, which is white, and then the black front piece. Um, I set up the spacers on my fixture table to help me align it because I use VHB tape, very high bond, and you only have one shot at that. You will destroy the sign trying to rip that tape apart. So this just kind of helps me line it up in the right spot and then I can just drop it down on that tape and get a good bond. I'm not a pro at this. This is only the fourth or fifth sign I've made. So I've just tried to figure it out as I go. This method works great on a square or rectangle sign. So with this kind of oval sign, we'll hopefully we'll get it done in one shot and don't screw anything up. Okay, I've got some 320 grit here. I'm just gonna scuff up the back side of this powder coating just so that the tape sticks a little better. Um, I've had great results just going powder coat to powder coat, no scuffing, but I did have one sign that it just did not want to stick. I don't know if it was the tape, but the powder coating was the same as the other sign. So I'm just gonna scuff things up a little bit just to give it a little somewhere to adhere to. Okay, I'll just use some isopropyl alcohol to kind of clean it off now and then that'll evaporate and dry really well. Next we'll start applying the tape. I just use a 3M, it's called VHB. I had got some, I think about half inch and then some eighth inch when we do these letters in here. I'll have to use some really thin stuff. All right, let's let that dry out now. This is the stuff, I got it on Amazon, I think I spent about 30 bucks for tape on this sign. And the powder coating itself was 120. So the powder coating has gone up. I haven't powder coated a sign in a couple of years and it was not that expensive. So things have gotten more expensive. Get that eighth inch. Now oh, we gotta start laying it out. I'll try to leave a little gap at the bottom of the sign in the tape in case water ever gets in, it can just run out the bottom. Doesn't take a whole lot of tape, but like I've said, I've only done a few of these, so. Try to get all these inner pieces first. Okay, that's a lot of tape. That's probably more than we need, but like I said, I don't do this for a living. I just kind of make it up as I go. So now I think we're ready to take the backing off the tape and then I'll clean off the backside of the white panel and we'll get it laid on there.
It's probably going to take a while. When you cut the tape, it makes it kind of stick. The backing stick to where that cut was. Okay. Got it all off. Hopefully this goes right because there's no going back with this tape. Shoot. Having a hard time seeing. Okay, hopefully that worked. stuff down <sighs> okay cool let's get the other parts getting these little pieces in is gonna be the hard part Okay, for the parts of the letter that need to drop in there, I'll take the cut out out of this piece. I'll grab that off the plasma table and then I'll cut it up and use a little section taped in just to give me a guide to where this should drop in and so that the spacing is just about as close to perfect as you can get. Now I should be able to hopefully get this out. There you go. So just that little piece like that. I put tape on the back side so I don't scratch anything up when I do that. Clean that up just a little bit with some alcohol. Okay, that's how you get those pieces in, just perfect. Now this one is gonna be tough to get that spacing just right. Okay, I couldn't use the piece of metal that I cut out through here. It was just too thin for what I needed and really warped because it was so small. I need an eighth inch space all the way around. All I had were these little plugs for painting and Cerakoting. Maybe if I got a nice piece of one eighth inch balsa wood or something, that could work as well. But I'm just gonna try to use those and hopefully it works. I used some one eighth, 
1 8 inch tape on there. So hopefully I can get this in here correctly without screwing it up. That worked. Okay, I've got my cut out there, and then the center of the O, the double-sided tape, and that'll give us a guide to drop that in. I think that's got it. Let's take this out. Good.